the heat like we're chasing the sun. I got a feeling this summer's the one. Joining us now is Bryce Sainty. He's got a brand new single out. It's called This Summer's the One. Bryce, this has got a really cool sound, a bit of a beach, the whole feel. Yeah, thanks so much. I'm glad you like it. It's a lot more kind of summery and beachy, which is what we really want to get across with this. So I'm super happy with it. When you say we, co-write, tell us about that. Yeah, so I wrote this one with Phil Barton and Melanie Dyer. We've written a few songs together of mine now lately, and they're just awesome to write with. So I've had a kind of great connection with them, and I'm actually writing with them in a couple of days' time for some more new music, which is really cool. But yeah, I just get a really good vibe every time I write with them, and so I'm super happy with the way this song turned out. Why do you think that is? I don't know, really. We just kind of mesh well together, which is good. Phil's a very energetic person, and a lot of the songs that we write together are quite energetic. And Mel's got some really cool melodic lines that kind of fit within all of that. So it just kind of gels. I had a bit of a look at the film clip, too. Tell us about the thought process of putting that in. Obviously, you wanted the summer feel and everything, but why the beach? I think it was just kind of uh, one of these things where what I associate with summer is, you know, lots of outdoor activities, the beach, that real kind of vibe and essence of summer. And so we really want to recreate that when we put it together. And I sat down with the director, Jeremy, and we went over kind of, you know, what we wanted to do and, and kind of recreate a first date seen throughout a day and having it end on the beach and so doing that and then having my performance scenes on the beach as well was a really cool kind of way to incorporate that whole summer feel and that's really just what we wanted the whole video to be about just the summer is as we could possibly get it so what's upcoming in 2022 for bryce sandy hopefully going to be a very busy year for me fingers crossed still working very hard on a new ep we've almost got it finished there's just one track left to go uh, which will be out early in the year and then following that up with hopefully a whole stack of performing fingers crossed the first kind of performances for me is going to be at the new tamworth country music festival dates which will be in april which i'm really excited about and then from there hopefully we're able to perform throughout the rest of the year which would be great Now, you've had some good uptake on the streaming platforms and so forth. So if people want to get a hold of this, listen to your music or just stay connected with you, what's the best way for them to stay in touch with Bryce Sandy? Obviously, all my music's on the major streaming platforms. So everybody's kind of whatever your favourite streaming platform is, you can definitely get a copy of my song on there. So make sure you check it out on there. But Instagram and Facebook, if you want to drop in and say hello, that's always where I'm on. Anybody who wants to check me out and say, hey, please feel free to do so. Bryce, it's great to catch up with you. We're going to play this single now. It's a load of fun, folks. Just sit back. It's uh, about two and three quarter minutes of real entertainment, guys. Well done, Bryce. No worries. Thank you so much for having me and for playing my music. It means a lot. This is Bryce Sainty, and this summer's the one. Walk across the coast, let the wheels hit the highway. Walk across the coast, let the wheels hit the highway. 